Welcome back, you maniacs. Today we're going to spend a few minutes of your day um, trying to figure out the best way to manage timed messages within your chat. I've got two different methods that work pretty damn well. Um, whether you want your Discord link, your YouTube link, your TikTok, whatever the hell, your grandma's only feet subscription. <laughs> this will keep them from spanning and kind of taking over your chat. So sit back, shut up, and follow the clicks. All right, first thing we're going to have to do is open up our streamer bot. Um, now this is does have a couple of assumptions here assumes you already have streamer bot installed um assumes you've already got some commands set up like your discord um which is you know tied to the discord command and in my case i multi-stream to both twitch and youtube so when i type exclamation discord it sends both a twitch and youtube message same thing for epic ko-fi etc etc so any of your commands or any of your messages that you want sent out um if it's multi-platform make sure you include both of them here as far as setting up the actual action to spit these out in your chat, it's really simple. We're gonna right click and add a new action. I'm gonna call this timed messages. And I'm gonna put it within my social group just because it already fits there. It kind of makes sense to me. And that's all we have to do to create the action. Over in sub actions, we've gotta make a few of them here. First one is gonna be under core and then globals and then global get. We're gonna get a global, we're gonna uncheck the persisted because we want this to reset every stream. And I'm just gonna call mine timed mess. You can call this whatever the hell you want it to. Timed mess works for me. Uh, set it with a default value of zero. And you'll see why here momentarily. Our next action is gonna be another core and then a global and then a set. We need to use the set sub action because this is how we're going to increment it. Uncheck persisted. If you leave that box checked, it's actually going to treat it as a separate variable because we've already told that time mess was not persisted. At this point, we're going to check increment. You can put a one in here. If you leave it blank, it tells you it defaults to one. So I'm going to leave mine blank. So now we've got to get time mess, increment time mess by one. And we start adding in our logic here. This is how we're going to prevent all the spam from coming in. Let me move this. A little bit easier for y'all. And back in here, we're gonna right click core, logic, and an if else statement. The variable name we know is timed mess. If it equals zero, we're going to do our first one, which we have in this case, discord. So go to our socials here, discord, select okay. Now this, this step gets important here. It's gonna run Discord and then break. We don't want it to do anything else if that variable is zero. Press okay. Now we're gonna duplicate this. Go back up. We're gonna change it to one and go to our next one, which is gonna be epic in my case. Obviously yours will probably be different. Same thing, we're gonna break the action and press okay. Duplicate this again. We've got a third one here. If it equals two, we're gonna go over on our list here. The next thing down should be Kofi. So select the action and go to Kofi. And then run action and break. Press continue. I'm gonna do this one more time for Steam. If it equals three, we're gonna do Steam. Select okay. Now this is our last action. Steam is the last message we want to send, so it's going to look a little differently. Instead of breaking after running Steam, we want it to continue. So we're going to press continue, leave this as no action continue, and press OK. The reason we wanted it to continue is because we're about to reset our global counter back to zero. So we go to core, globals, and we're going to set again. Uncheck the persisted box. Time the mess is going to be set to the value of zero. And what this does is it starts our count over at zero. So this is the entire action for timed messages is set up right now, but what we don't have is a trigger, so it doesn't know how it's gonna fire off. What we want this to do, obviously, is set to a timed action, so we're gonna right click up in the triggers box, go to core and timed actions here. I know I'm kind of in the way, so there we go. Don't have a timer created yet, so we're gonna create one. I'm gonna call this one just time 
messages. Now for the sake of this video, I'm gonna set it to like three seconds, just so it kind of goes in chat, do not do this, otherwise the love of God is gonna be kind of crazy. Um, additionally, if you are multi-streaming, i.e. Twitch and YouTube or Twitch and Trovo, you cannot have the interval with the seconds and the lines because it doesn't know how to count the lines. So for my case, I'm gonna leave the lines blank. If you are strictly a Twitch streamer or strictly a YouTube streamer, you can put 300 seconds and 10 lines. It needs to meet both of those parameters for it to fire off. But for the case of this again, three seconds, I'm gonna press okay. Okay, and now we're gonna to go to our chat. All right, there's one. There's two, there's three, next one should be Steam, there's four, and then it should go back to you know, the first one, which is Discord. And we're back to zero, one, two. I'm gonna disable this trigger for now because that action is totally complete and working. Obviously, as I said, you'll want to adjust the time for it. But I did promise you that I had two different methods to do this, so now I'm gonna show you the next one. For this, I'm going to make another one and we'll call it, um, I'll just say find messages two. I'm gonna stick it right back in our socials group and press okay. So now we've got time messages two within our socials group and empty triggers and sub actions. The way we're doing this one is we're actually going to write all of our timed messages into a text file. Um, and at this point, we would separate any of our messages by a line break. Uh, so for starters, we're gonna jump on over to our streamer bot folder. This is just where I like to keep my stuff. Streamer bot, and I made one already called timedmessages.txt. You can call yours whatever you want to. Open it up. And now you'll see I have just the same messages I had in there. However, we can change these and do time message one, time message two, time message three. If I could type, that would have said time message three. Save it, and we're gonna close it out. So all we have to do for now, of note, the way that I'm about to show you with the text document is strictly random. You can get deeper into the weeds and you can write some C sharp that'll actually go through and iterate through the lines in order. However, or we could use the same method we just did by incrementing global, but the way I'm gonna show you here is it's just gonna randomly pick a message off of the text document and spit it out in your chat. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go to sub actions, core, file IO, and we're gonna read a random line from text. Again, if you wanted it to go straight through the text, you could read specific, use the global variable, increment that. Um, for, for this sake though, we're gonna read random line, and then we're gonna select our file path, which if you follow the instructions, will be in the same folder as your streamer bot. For mine, three hours time message. And we're just gonna press okay. The next thing that we're gonna need to do is send our, set up our actual message to chat. So for this instance, we're gonna do Twitch, chat, send message to channel, and this is just gonna be percent, random, line, percent. And this is just going to say, whatever random line streamer bot just read from that text file, that's what we wanna spit out in this chat message I left bot account on. And then again, if you're multi-streaming, you can do the same thing for your other ones, YouTube, send message to channel. We'll go random line. Okay. So that's all set up as it is right now. We're going to set up our trigger. Let me clear out this chat real quick. So you can see, we've already made our timer in the previous action. So should go without saying that we can just select the same time we had. Remember this is on three seconds. So I should start spamming our chat messages and here's our chat time message three two remember this is random so we might see three two three three two two three two one this is just randomly reading lines from a file I find that 
this may might be a little bit easier for some people that don't want to mess with variables and it'll also if you have a whole ton of different messages you want to cycle through this will help rather than going from top to bottom just randomly pulling them off that line but you do get the limitation of randomization so as you see here i got number one three times in a row all right i've got one more little trick that i want to show this last part is applicable regardless if you used the first or second method, and that is enabling and disabling these timers on stream start. Um, if you're like me, when you're not streaming, you still got streamer bot open and you're working on other things. And while you're doing that, these time messages keep firing off in your chat. The way to get around that is by setting up another action, like in this case two, um, and enabling the timer and disabling the timer. So we're gonna do that real quick. And this way, when you're live, it turns the messages off. And when you end stream, it turns them off. So the first thing we're gonna do is right click. We're gonna add a new action here. I'm gonna call this stream start. In my actual go live streamer bot, I have an action that does a bunch of things once I start stream. Um, I recommend doing that for y'all too. But for the time being, we'll just make this single action. We got stream start and our trigger is going to be OBS streaming started. OBS any, yeah, we've got different connections here. Let's just select my portable. And if you use Streamlabs, it's the same thing. Streamlabs, you can do streaming started here. No different than OBS. I don't have it installed, so we'll just select any. So you got your trigger, and then it's gonna be a single sub action. It's gonna be core, timers, set timer state. You're gonna click on the time messages timer and enable. Press OK. Now we've got an action for stream start. When stream is started, we enable the timer. In order to expedite this, I'm just gonna duplicate this action. Change the name here to stream end. Press OK. And then go up to my triggers. Actually gonna delete these. Set them to stream ending. So OBS, streaming stopped. And then again, if you use Streamlabs, it'll be Streamlabs, streaming stop. And down our sub action, instead of being enabled, we're gonna disable. And just like that, we wasted 10 minutes of your day, but we showed you two different ways that you can make your stream suck less. Um, you can also use a third method, and that'd be a hybrid approach between the two, incrementing your global to read a specific line from the message and then resetting at the end, yada, yada, yada. If you want to get that far in the weeds, feel free to hit me up on Discord or down in the comment section. Um, I really appreciate everybody that's been hanging out and sharing these videos. It means a whole f lot to me. Spotify, MM1000 is over 210 downloads or something right now, so it's crazy. I love it. Uh, make sure if you found some help with this video or if you know somebody else that could use this video, you send it over to them, let them comment on my shitty mustache and my really poor editing qualities. But other than that, thank you all again, and we'll see you next time, you f maniacs.